Hey what's up guys in this video we are going to talk about CSS animation. So we can use the CSS animation property and we can apply animation to any HTML element. And we don't have to use JavaScript for the animation in our web page. We can simply use the CSS animation property. So first of all let's talk about what is animation. So the animation will let an element gradually change the style from one style to another. So first of all to create one animation we have to specify keyframe for the animation. So we have to use the keyframe keyword and after the space we have to specify the name of the keyframe. So I'm gonna call it my frame and the keyframes hold what style the element will have at certain time. So inside the curly braces we have to specify all the keyframe. So our animation will happen from the background color red to the background color of yellow. So you can see we have created our keyframes where our animation will start with the background color red and the animation will change its style to the background color yellow. Now we have to bind our keyframe with the div element. For that we have to use the animation name property and here we have to specify the name of the animation. So our animation name is my frame. So with the animation name property we are binding our keyframe with the div element. And now we are going to use the animation duration property. So the animation duration property specifies the duration for our animation. So we are going to have the duration of 2 seconds. So I am going to save this. So you can see if I refresh the page the background color changes from red to yellow color. So our animation is starting with the red background and then the style changes to background color yellow. So instead of using just two animation stages we can add multiple animation stages and we can use the percentage for that. Like in example at 0% we want the background color to be red. At 50% we want the background color to be yellow. And in 100% we want the background color to be green. So now we have created three stages. Initially the background color will be red and in the middle the background color will be yellow and at the end of our animation the background color will be green. So if I refresh the page you can see initially it started with red then yellow and it ended with the background color green. And also we can animate multiple style of the element. So we have the background color red and also we can change the width of the element like we want our width to grow to 200 pixel. And then at 50% we want the width to grow to 300 pixel. And then at 100% we want the width to be 400 pixel. So you can see the width is changing from 200 to 300 and at the end it reaches to 400 pixel. And also we can use the animation delay property. So the animation delay property specifies a delay for the start of an animation. Like in example we can use 1 second. So now the animation will start with the delay of 1 second. And also we have the animation iteration count. So the animation iteration count property specifies the number of times an animation should run. So we can use the number 2. So now the animation will repeat two times. So you can see the animation is repeating two times. And also we can use infinite. So now the animation will repeat itself infinite times. And also we have the animation direction property. So the animation direction property specifies whether an animation should be played forward, backward or in the alternate cycle. So it can have the value normal which is the default value. And also we can use the value as reverse. So now the animation will be played in the reverse direction. 
and also we can use the value as alternate so now the animation will be played forward first and then in backward direction and also we can use alternate reverse so now the animation will be played backward first and then in the forward direction and also we have the animation timing function so the animation timing function specifies the speed curve of the animation so it can have the value is or it can have the value linear or is in even it can have the value is out and also it can have the value is in out and also we have the animation fill mood so this property specifies a style for the target element when the animation is not playing so it can have the value as none so this is the default value and here the animation will not apply any style to the element before or after it is executed and also it can have the value as forward so now the element will return the style value that is set by the last keyframe so here the last keyframe has the background color green and width of 400 pixels that's why the element is retaining the last keyframe and also we can use the value as backward and now the element will get the style value that is set by the first keyframe and also we can use the value as both so now the element will follow the rule for both forward and backward direction and finally we have the animation shorthand property so instead of using so many different animation property we can simply use the shorthand animation property and here we can specify all of the different animation properties so first of all we have to specify the name of the animation which is my frame and then we have to specify the duration of the animation like 2 second and then the timing function like linear and then we have to specify animation delay I'm gonna use 1 second and then we have to specify the animation iteration count so I'm gonna use 2 times and then we have to specify the animation direction so I'm gonna use alternate so this is the way we can use the CSS animation property and we can specify the keyframes for our animation so the keyframes will specify the style for our animation at certain time so our animation will go through all of these different keyframes and we can apply that animation to one element in the web page so hope you understand the concept we'll see you in the next one thank you